Hey guys, I'm Alex. Welcome back to another Minecraft Hardcore episode. And you can see behind me an empty space. I have created a large empty space here. And what we're going to do today is create a rail station. So you'll be able to come from your house, run up here to the rail station, and go to your, your favorite location, wherever you want to go, whether the village, XP farm, or, you know, there's other places that we can go. So, um, right here I've already cleared out a little bit of space. This is pretty much how big it's going to be. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is it's going to be, I'm going to dig down and we're going to go down, let's see, this is the 6th, 5th, 4th, 3, 2, 1. I think that's right. Whoa, okay. So we'll put that there, and I'm going to head back up top. Now, not all of this space will need to be dug out, but I'm going to go ahead and dig it out anyways, just to make it easier on myself. Um, so here, let's do this. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is the ground level, ground level for build, and it's going to go up. From that point, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. So that's how tall it's going to be, and then we have how low it's going to be. So, um, let me think. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clear out some of the space. I'm not going to clear out all of it. I will clear out maybe three levels down, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have a hole here, and now I'm going to fill this in with blocks. This is going to be the floor for the rail station. And let's go ahead and fill this in. So this rail station is going to use, it's going to use redstone, but um, it's not too complicated. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. It uses the redstone to change the tracks, and then um, depending on what kind of signal is sent to the track changing system, then um, you get to go to a different location. So, if you hear that, that is the iron golem burning behind me. And he is about to give me some iron. Which, I have plenty of iron. I have been collecting that and it's, it's getting out of control how much iron I've collected from that, and how many roses I've collected from that. Wow. Okay, so we're almost done here with this floor. Oops. Okay. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna drop some torches in here. Actually, I'll put them on, I'll put them on here, because I need to make sure that I don't mine this at all costs. Okay, and we'll add a couple more down here just so mobs don't spawn. All right, looking good. Let's break out of here. Um, I need a way to get up. All right, that works. Okay, so here we go. We got a blank slate. Um, all right, so let's set up a little bit. Uh, let's see. So if we go one, two, and then we go one two okay right here is where we're going to have uh let's see we'll dig that out and i believe a dropper goes here maybe a dispenser so i might have to wait um okay but we need some rails and we're going to have one two three block that off one two three okay that looks pretty good. All right, and then let's see. From this hole, we go one, two, three, blank space, one, two, three, and then we will have another rail. Yep, one, two, three, blocks here, and one, two, three. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, 
let me see what else what else can we do all right we'll block off this area I think that will yeah that looks good okay so what I have done here is I've created two locations one is the uh, arriving port I guess this is the arriving location so if you're coming from a different location you'll ride in here and you will stop right here and if you want to go somewhere you will sit right here and you'll select your location so let's build that um, I've made a couple of different I've dyed a couple of different wools here and I might do clay later but we'll do wool for now so let's do uh, these colors mean nothing to me so we'll do that and we'll stick some buttons on here what was that? did you guys see that? look at that baby zombie let's kill that guy boom yeah what are you doing? get out of my city that's right all right and I need to remember that we have lava under here so we can't put anything wooden up top all right so we have these cards and these so I'll put one, whoops, one of these here and rail there and we skip put a rail, put one of those oops put another rail there rail rail and there I believe that's how it goes let's see yeah this looks right uh, one two three one two three okay yeah that looks right and then these are going to go all right, let's go over here so over here we're going to have uh, these are all going to be powered from underneath and I'll do that in a minute so let's see all right so you're here and now that 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 no we don't want that okay we want it to connect like that and want it to connect like that and like that oops no oh, whoa oh laggy 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 okay so let's stick this back there that looks good and we'll do this this and this and let's head downstairs real quick actually you know what I need to do I'm gonna mark out these locations so I'll take that out that out and that out and that that out. all right so let's drop down and what we're gonna do down here oh I need some redstone torches actually so what I'll do is um, I'm gonna get the stone done I'm gonna get the stone work done like that and I'll be back and I'll place the redstone so you guys can follow along where I'm placing the redstone because you don't need to watch me place the stones these stone bricks and place the redstone so I'll be right back and we'll apply the redstone all right guys welcome back and you can see I have laid out uh, a little bit more stone and if we go underneath uh, there's also some stone down here that has been laid out so uh, let's lay out the big items first and the big items are let's see we got this chest so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some oh we already got some dirt there uh, one more dirt and the chest will go there hopper's gonna go into that and then let's see I believe that's it let's uh, let's grab this cactus probably wondering why it's growing there all right so the cactus is gonna go right here and whenever you come in here with a minecart you'll hit this the minecart will break not break but um, you'll you'll jump out of the minecart the minecart will fall into the hopper and then fall into there so we can go ahead and drop some of these uh, minecarts in there we have three and let's see anything else yeah we can do some more up here let's, um, let's grab some redstone there we go all right so we're going to just put redstone across the buttons here and then we're going to go down like so all right so let's go down under there 
And you can see here's the redstone. So we're going to continue it. Oops. Down here. All right, looking good. Okay, so this is where we need to put a repeater. Bam, bam. All right, let's put more redstone here. And where are those redstone torches? There we go. Redstone torch there and there. And let's see. Redstone torch there. One there. And then we're going to fill this guy up with redstone torches. And you'll notice that two of them are off. And that's because they're being powered from underneath. So let's see. Uh, let's go over here. Same thing over here. We need to power these rails. All right. So the ones that are going to be controlled are the ones that are powered off. And they'll be controlled by this redstone that goes up here. And let's fill this in. Let me see. I think we should be able to make it all the way over here without a repeater. And then we'll put a repeater there. And I think this has two timing. Might be a two. We might have to come back for that. So then we'll put some more redstone there, redstone there, and let's see. I think redstone there. Yeah. All right, so let's go up top because we have some more things. Let's get rid of this first. All right, and oh, actually, before we go up top, we need to put this dispenser down like so. Put the hopper in there. And then we need to make a, uh, a tunnel, I guess, a water tunnel um, going this direction. And let's see, like that, uh, like that. Piston's going to go on top of here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's grab that piston. Oh, that's not right. Okay. There we go, like that. Take this block away. We have a dropper, so let's go dropper, drop. Oops, dropper. And then, hmm. Okay, I believe I've made a small mistake. The other, what I thought was supposed to be a dispenser, uh, I'm actually supposed to put a dropper right here. So let's switch that out. There we go, dropper. And it looks like we're gonna block ourselves off from getting in here if I close this up. Um, all right, so we're going to put a dirt there, this here. And we're already blocking ourselves off. There we go. This. OK, so water, I need to put water in here. But I need to do it gracefully without. Can I put that in there? I think that's fine. Um, okay, so I need to get, let's see, right here, this looks good. And we're going to take this hopper, I believe that's the last hopper, put it right in there. And let's put dirt here and a stone there. Okay, so now, whenever the dropper drops a minecart, it's going to get pushed down that direction with the water that I'm going to drop in here. So let's do this. Bam! Look at that. That was awesome. All right, so then the water is going to get push the minecart all the way down here, and then it'll pop up over here. We have a dispenser, so we'll do that. Looks good. Put a block right there, and we're going to put a cart over that. And you can see that the carts over here are powered. So what would happen here if you're on the minecart? You're going to go forward, you're going to go forward, you're going to go forward, and then you're going to turn and then you're going to go out. And then when you're coming back, you'll turn and then go here. And that's true for all cases coming back. So let me show you um, a different case so you can see how this works. All right, there we go. Oh, I can't put red. OK, one more, one more layer, and then I can put red, uh, redstone torch. And I want to make a observation area. 
There we go. Okay, so I put a torch here. That means I press that button and it didn't do anything. Okay, what about that one? Okay, so yeah, if I push the middle button, and you can see that I'm going to go to this track because that track has changed. So let's pop that off. I'm not sure if I'm losing these torches. All right, let's drop one there. And you can see it, it's not changing properly. So let's go check this redstone. Uh, that looks good. Okay, we'll drop redstone right there. Okay, let's go look down there. This stuff is getting powered. Huh. All right, let's go this way, go this way. Okay, so they're both being powered. Hmm. All right, let me just put the rest of the redstone down. And I think that's a torch, actually. So we'll put torch right there. Okay. And let's go. Did I drop all those? What happened to all those torches? Where did they go? Oh, I guess I only need one. Okay. So let's check this. Okay. So now no buttons are pushed. Push that button. So if you push the far right button, you'll go all the way down and you'll go all the way at the end. Okay. If you push the middle button, you're going to hit the first one. That's probably not right. And if you hit that one, you will go to... Hmm. Okay. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to fix this and I'll be right back and I'll show you guys what I did and we'll continue. Hey guys, welcome back. And I am down here in the redstone area. And the problem I found is that this signal right here that is for switching the tracks is somehow inverted. I'm not sure if it's the blocks I'm using. Um, I built this in creative mode just to try it out, but I used quartz. So I don't know if quartz and stone brick have different properties, but um, yeah, they're inverted for some reason. So, oops, where am I going? I need to get out of here. If we go back up here, and put, if we press the, if I put a red torch here, that means I press this button. Nothing happens, which is good. That means you'll go to this first track. And if you push that button, nothing happens. So what's going on? Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay, so if you push the middle button, the middle track, or the first track switches. Let's do that again. You see? And having it turned that way allows you to bypass it, I guess, and go straight. All right. And then on this one, both tracks get bypassed, and you go all the way to the end. And it looks like I'm not powering that rail, so let's see what's going on. Yep. There we go. All right, so let's close this up. Okay. I'm going to toss some... Um, let's go back up top first. Okay, so... Actually, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this look nice, and then I'll come back, and I'll show you guys how it works. All right, I'll be right back. So let me show you some things real quick before we go in. Right here we have the redstone access door. All the redstone is down here. Let's head back up top and we'll go inside the station now. So this is the arrivals. This is the departures. We'll sit in this cart and let's go to the yellow location. There we go. So now the cart it's broken up, goes into here, goes into the dropper a bit, or dispenser, gets pushed through that stream down here, and then another one will pop up here. So let's try the red one now. And we go to the red destination. All right. And we'll try the last one now, white. 
going to the white destination. So this is just the start. Um, actually, I, I had some stone bricks here, but I was I think I was hitting my head and getting damaged. So I removed them. Uh, yeah, so this is just the start. Obviously, the, the carts are not just going to take you on a loop and then take you back. Um, you know, I'll have one of them take me to the XP farm, one of them go to the village maybe, and then I'll save the other one for um, the biomes, when the new biomes come out, so that I can shoot off in a direction and ex explore. Yeah, so um, that's, that's it. I've enclosed this thing. There's half slabs up top. And I tried to make it look pretty decent. I like this glass. looks pretty decent, I think. Um, leave a comment if you think if you have any suggestions for what I can do to make it look better. But I think it looks I think it looks good. Yeah. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll put a link in the description of where I saw this tutorial. And we'll see you next episode. Bye. What's up, bro? Are oh, you gonna hide? Bring it. Yeah. Nice fork.